These are our stream highlights for the game. Runnick. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by... Hey, look over there! What is it? Light Up Games! And they also turned around and self-published! Way to go on self-publishing. This game is set to be released on May 5th on the Steam Marketplace for an unknown price. I'm going to give it an educated guess of $4.99. So, uh, Light Up Studios, he's made several other ones, Slime's Adventure, Berry Bunny, um, he's got a whole catalog of like Milo or something. Um, a lot of these games were released on uh, Xbox, I think he uh, publishes sometimes through Rattalaka. Um, is this Brazil or the US? There we go, buddy. Thank you, Giuliano. Native controller support. So, this is more oriented for console gamers. Um, talking to Giuliano a little bit, I know his intent is to publish these on console. They come out on Steam first, obviously a lot easier to, to get through cer certification and get stuff pushed out on itch.io and Steam. Um, but, these games really truly were meant for console gamers. Um, oh, what was that? Mages, Mages and Treasure? We also uh, covered that one recently. Why don't we just go ahead and put the link to that one on YouTube right up here? Uh, let's go into the options menu. Um, difficulty, thank you. Thank you for putting various difficulty mo modes. <laughs> and there it is. I was in the options menu just like 30 seconds ago and I didn't see window mode. There it is, folks. So, let's go ahead and take it off window mode. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> All right. Now I just can't control anything. Ooh, did something. Let's get into this. I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while now. Uh, he's been working on it a little bit. Um, I think there's a lot more like weapons and power-ups and hidden items in this one. It's more of an open world. Uh, I really like Giuliano's style for the way he creates stuff. It is all pixelated, it is all 2D, you know, it looks like 8-bit Nintendo graphics, but there's just something about his style that's signature. You know, you, you can look at a lot of these games and know exactly what developer it came from. That's cool. I like it. I dig what you're doing, man. And here we go, you can play it with mouse and keyboard. Look at all these. Move, pause, rune power. Here we go. This is more like it. Map is Y. Attack, jump, rune power. Look, move. All right. Change rune. Interesting. Very snappy controls, of course. Aim save. Yeah, this looks just like Slime's Adventure or Berry Bunny. Look at that snow. Look, we got XP, we got coins, we got keys, HP, and magic points. Me likey. Snappy. He did say he was, it was his intent to bring this out on uh, Xbox. I'll be there day one. Look at this. Now my kids think I'm nuts. They're like, Dad, why are you playing those games? Quit playing them old games. 
Call it nostalgia. Call it what you will. It's awesome. And it's not just because it's a pixel art. Like, I do not enjoy most 2D pixel art games. At all. Like, I'll be the first one to go ahead and call it out that... I would rather use my Series X console for Series X enhanced stuff. But... These light-up games are just perfect. The, the scaling, as the enemies fly towards the screen, I think, uh, like, I remember the, the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, when you'd flip the characters towards the screen, they'd do that parallax scrolling stuff. Sweet. Got an achievement for getting my first level. As I defeat enemies, I'm earning XP, which I love. Because otherwise, there's no reason to battle any of these guys. Just run through the screens and leave all the characters on the screen. But at least with having an XP system and a leveling system, it gives me a reason to want to battle every single one of these characters and grind my level. Step off, bro. I'm about ready to level up again. Based on those spikes down there, it looks like I could possibly swim. Possibly. Now I'm don't really have an objective here. I'm just kind of running through the world, just kind of leading wherever. There is a map system. Chests open. Look at that. Progression 4%. Look out, Simon Belmont. Giuliano's coming for you. It's great. Oh, I can push the barrels. I need a silver master key to unlock this path. Oh, what was this down here? How do I, oh, look at there, duh, it was right in front of my face. In the face. Wow, two, two achievements unlocked. This will be helpful and something for opening a chest. So I think I've got like three achievements already just rolling in this one. I'm not much one for Steam achievements. I do pay attention to the uh, Xbox and PlayStation trophies and achievements a lot more. Ah! Yep, way to go, bro. So when you die, what happens to your XP? It remains at 29%, so there isn't a huge penalty. Maybe it's because I put it on easy mode. But I like that if I'm sitting on the couch, just kind of casually playing a game, half paying attention, half not. Not a big deal. Boy, it sounds... Can you hear my, uh... Controller clicking? Sounds like my compression's off. Let's go over. And let's use this time to have some of the uh, apple juice on this Monday evening. Go wet the whistle. I don't know if I mentioned it already. Strong Warrior. Steam, you gotta work on your achievements, man. I don't even know what I did to get that Strong Warrior achievement. I did something. Killed 50 enemies or something? I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I forgot. More money, more items. Another achievement. 
He's popping them. Love it. Secret areas, treasure, retained XP, retained coins. I have started to play more roguelites, but I still don't like them. I like to retain my treasure and all my XP. All these, these enemies are getting a bit annoying. I want to level up my axe. Buddy. Don't go down there. How do I get in here? I need this rune power to unlock this path. Cool. Unlockable paths. Secrets. What's this? More secrets. <laughs> He may not have the world's most powerful base engine, but what makes games enjoyable is being, basically, when I, like in the first Castlevania, you would find in this wall, if I chopped this wall, it would break open and I would find like a ham or something. Got another achievement, Viking, Viking money, must have got a hundred coins or something. But. Even on the original NES games, there was hidden items, secret areas, warp zones, like cheat codes, all this stuff built into it. It seems like over the last 30 years, we've kind of lost the love with, the, with our 3D open worlds and all the GTA stuff. There isn't a lot of warp zones or Easter eggs or like the love for the industry. So I enjoy seeing a developer Put the, go the extra mile, put those hidden things that make the player character go and want to rub against every wall and jump up and try and find that secret area or, or look beyond the straight path because there's so many times I just blaze through a game in like 20 minutes I complete the game and I, come, I leave it and I don't ever come back. So, love having those little hidden secret areas give some flavor to the game, you know? And I know he's been working on this one for a while, so I'm... I was... I could kind of see the writing on the wall that he was putting some extra love into this one. So, I am a little bit more than excited this evening to, to be able to experience this. Yep, so now I'm going back the way I came. As long as I'm here, let's not continue to go in the same direction. Let's go make sure that we've... Let's go back to the frozen fields and make sure that we've scouted the frozen fields because I really feel... Yeah, I absolutely did not explore this area at all. I just jumped right into the Icelands. The sign says, got another achievement, skilled warrior. They are popping, popping tonight. What would have happened if I had went this way from the house? What is the reason for the house here? Why would I ever want to come back here for the... I'm right here, my love. Don't worry about a thing. Please all hold on, dear. I'll find a way. So she must be sick or something. I'm going on a quest to save my loved one. Ooh, got an XP book down there. And another rune power that I need to get past. So as you go through and earn more runes, you can come back and open areas 
in the past. Volcano, this sounds like I'm not strong enough to be here. That's what that sounds like. Oh, what do you say? You need all four magical runes to proceed to proceed past this. Along this path, obviously. So that may be the beginning of the end. Still three hits to knock out the... Knock out the old Jack Skellington. So I can go this way or up. Let's go all the way up. Can I jump through this wall? No, there's a ladder. Secret area down. Not so secret. I'll take it nonetheless. Money. Now what can you do with the money? I haven't seen a store yet. Uh-oh, what's this all about? I can't get up here. Jump off the ladder. But the playability here is very snappy. Um, of course, I wouldn't expect this engine to be taxing my hardware at all. But um, solid frame rate with the environmental effects. I didn't see any way to bump up the resolution. I suppose it's non... It's a mute issue anyway. Just the scrolling of the backgrounds. This rain, the snow effects. The little things like these... Uh, the grass moving as you go through it. And the background music. Did you hire this out? Because... It's very in tune with the theme, with the uh, Viking, Nordic. I'll get, I'll get slammed if I say Scandinavian. But this is like flute and like definitely not chip tunes. I'll tell you that. Dude, pay attention. Ooh, we've seen this effect before. <laughs> You've found the ring of something. The ring-a-ding. Ring of Curitus. Curitus. Prevent taking damage from spikes. Well, where were you, like, five minutes ago? Or 30 seconds ago? What's up? Brilliant. How about, uh... Achievement unlocked. Better Viking. Probably for another level up. Oh, hitting level five. Makes sense. I like that the snakes drop coins out of their little coin purses that they obviously have in their little snake body. Gives me a reason to grind the enemies, XP and... Uh. XP and cash money. this thing. So I'm getting close to having 200 coins here. Where is the shop? Uh-oh. So I just obtained a silver key and there is 
An unlockable. I need a silver master key. Obviously, I don't have a silver master key in my possession. Because I'm just not that kind of guy. Have I been here before? No, I have not. I would like to upgrade my axe so I can one-shot these guys. I, am, I know it's coming. It's gotta be coming. Gotta be able to upgrade my hit ability. Do I go across? put them here. Another treasure chest? What's down here? Nothing? Lettuce. Hey! Piggy. Another achievement, great warrior. I must like defeat a hundred enemies or something. Something. <laughs> Trying to defeat an enemy with a barrel. Not gonna do it, not this time. Strike the TNT barrel. There you go. Get close. That should have been an achievement. Didn't get that, did we? Next time. I am enjoying this. I'm leveling up. I'm gaining coins, even though I don't know why I even want them at this point. If I could go up, I could go... I go up. Can I go up? I can go up. Hey. Give me your apple. Yeah, go up again. I've been this way, I just... Why couldn't I go? I did go up, I just can't go over because I can't reach that. So how, can I go down here? Just trying to search all those nooks and crannies. wanting to go down here and see what's in this room. You need to find the switch to unlock this path. So these two poles are controlled by switches. I, 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 oh, they're killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Can a TNT barrel kill a snake? You can. That was a switch. Oh, but I need the barrel to get up there. Duh. Now you know. Now you know. There you go.
Nice! So excited. Air jumping amulet. Double jump. Love it. Yes, look at this. I am all powerful. And now, that area that I couldn't previously get to before is now accessible. I just need to go down to get there. say enjoyable that I can casually just play the game if I get hit not a big deal I'm not gonna lose my XP I'm not gonna lose my coins I can just casually play through the game and it's no big deal what's up buddy I love this cold weather it's so introspective don't you think yeah sure dude whatever exactly what I thought when I looked at you I was like introspective so there's one key that I have it says I need a silver master key to unlock this path do I not have a silver master key 20% of the game done already doesn't seem maybe that's just 20% of the map but I've got a lot more game to play as I have to come back and rerun all the areas. Get off me, bro. Where do I want to go? Straight? What? I didn't even hit. That was just my... My double jump gives a dagger. Gives a death spin. So if I double jump, I should be able to just attack this snake by my sonic spin. Boom. That's what you get for being a pig. And you, snake face. Next thing I'm looking for a crossbow, maybe a grappling hook. Um, uh, yeah, like a, a crossbow, something that's a distance weapon where I don't have to be in their face. I'd like an upgraded axe or a uh, distance weapon. That's what I'm looking for. And this one was locked behind a key, so I can't go that way. All right, bottom right corner is where we're headed. Down, down, down. We ain't going down. Can I just spin attack this guy? I can. That hurt me. Don't know. Ah, it did hurt me as I spun attack and jumped into the pigs for some reason. It did not say that was okay. So how do I get up? It says I can go up. Up there. Oh, that's where I am. So forgetful. I was gonna say, where's my apples? I'm running three out of five quite a bit here. Obviously, this background music is repeating, but it's it's not bothersome. Or if it was like a basically 15 second tune, do 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 do
but light up, you guys. I, I think you got a hit on your hands here. Just need to spread the word. Playability? I mean, I jump, I can move my character, he's quick, he's snappy, he's reactive. We've got animations going on of uh, the trail behind him here. I think a lot of people just don't enjoy 2D pixel indie gaming, which is a shame. Missing out. My kids are part of the problem. They won't touch a pixel game. Too old, Dad. Uh, need rooms for that. And down. I used my key on... <laughs> this guy looks familiar. Have we seen him before? I want to say he was in uh, that uh, Mages and Treasures. Either that or Slime's Adventure. He was in a, a light-up game before. So, good use of your, your same characters, bringing them back. Guest appearances, cameos. Oh, what was that? Looks like I was clipping a little. Don't know how I clipped in here, but... Love that jump-spin attack for these guys. Ooh, what is going on here? Double trouble. Maybe armor? If I could uh, get a stronger weapon, armor, distance weapon. So I can go that way, I'm gonna go this way. Two, three. Still three hits on these green zombie skeletons. So, yeah, obviously I have M MP, your, your magic points here, but I don't have any spells yet. Maybe that's got something to do with the runes. Why is there a blue tree, a green tree, and a gray tree? Something's up. <sighs> that's what I've been asking for. Maximum magic points, that's good. And HP. Nice. Give you more. By 10? I don't think that's a good deal. Restores. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Nothing truly amazing, but I will take it. Is it buy one and it's gone? I come back, go out and come back in. Is it still gone? Yep, you only get one opportunity at it. Fair enough. Wouldn't want to make it too easy, huh? Hey, why not? Why not? Feel a little more powerful, I suppose. Can't get through. So where am I going? I need to just keep on trucking to the left here. Ah! Yeah, 
ahead, I had this game when I was like eight or ten. Heck, even. Yeah, even when I was 14, I probably would have spent a weekend. Oh, that's right, the nitros, you can't touch at all. Jeez, did that take half my health or what? Don't touch the nitros at all. Yeah, I need them, uh, obviously I need them apples. Not that bad, though. Now take it. Take it. We'll just play like this. That way I can see my chat as I hit it. Uh-oh, boss battle. This looks almost like a secret area. I could possibly get up here. Come on, Giuliano. Where is them secrets? Alright, let's see what boss battle we have in store here. My first level boss. Easy there, killer. Is he impossible to hit back there? He is. I have to wait till he comes to the foreground. Repeatable attack patterns. Repeatable attack pattern. You can't hit me. Run, run, run. Ah. Play around, play around. What if I could just double jump jump into him and slam him? Ah! Yeah, slam it! <laughs> Use that double jump spin attack, Sonic style. You've got the fire room. Finally, I can unlock those uh, secret areas. Got my first rune. So how do I use the rune? B. And that uses my magic points. Do they regenerate with time? I love this cold weather. It's so introspective, don't you think? So introspective. Okay, so probably I'm, I'm seeing a pickup here of the magic points, the MP. Um, I'm supposing as you kill, as you uh, defeat enemies, they'll pop out those little vials as well. the store. I've already bought the good stuff. I won't worry about the, uh, even the free things at this point. I think I can pick them up off of the, uh, off of the creatures in the landscape anyway. Okay, so I've defeated my first boss. Let's go ahead and look at our map. There's some stuff up here in the upper left. That is still available. Oh, did you see the size of that vial I got off of that guy? He filled all my MP. So I guess that answers my question too. What? Why is there fire on the ground? I don't know how I caught on fire, but I did. You guys can go pound sand somewhere else. Not thrilled by the Seekers. That's why I couldn't get through there. Alright, let's see if we can earn some apples and magic back here. Kill up there. I only want to use one magic point because I'm sucking. Hey! 
귀여워 Yeah, just through the progression of playing the game, you're gonna earn those magic points back. There, yeah, I'm full. You can give me an apple. Thank you. After I lost two points, I regained one. Seriously, you're gonna turbo fire on me? over... See, I'm still looking at that map above me and thinking I can go to the right. I guarantee you it's like a silver gate that I can't get through. Spin attack is not enough. Their volley of fire is too quick. I just have to avoid them. Where are we at? Can I go down over here? I can. Ah, that's where I came in from. Ah, but... What? I have that power already. It's like brown power. Don't have the power of brown. So does this map the entire game? For some reason, I thought the game would be bigger than this, but I mean, when you count that up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's about 11 or 12 high. It's maybe about 140 levels or something. 120 levels. Screens, 120 screens. I haven't seen a price on this one yet. Most of the light up games come out at $4.99. They're very affordable budget titles. Um, for five bucks, especially I think like Slime's Adventure is like on sale right now on Steam. I saw for $2.99. For three bucks, that game is such a steal. Even just to have it in your library to play from time to time. Let's go off to the left over here. And venture out that way. You know, now that I got that ruin, I could probably even go to that ice level and explore further in there. Probably unlock some areas that were previously inaccessible. I feel like there should be secret areas up here that I can jump high and get to. Excuse me. and over before we go left. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah. Don't have a master key yet. Alright. So it is... Whoa, way down. Where the heck am I going? I have to go right... Right... Down... I got a whole maze here to get through. Hey. Don't you kill me. So I got 277. How much are these base level guys? One point of XP. Almost getting to the point where it's not even worth for those skeletons if they're just gonna give me 
one point of XP. Dude, oh, it's the plant. It's that lettuce I was talking about down here. It'll catch on fire. And then I walk through it. Nice. So sneaky. See, I should be able to push this and have it go like into the wall and have like secret. I don't know. Even if there's just some coins or something silly in there. Some reason to push around on stuff in the world and it's. As a player, when you find some secret thing where you jump up here and there's a, there's a hidden platform and you can go up high and there's a invincibility star or something. I don't know, it doesn't even have to be a great treasure like a helmet or something. It can be just the silliest thing, a health refill station like a fairy pond or something. Um, it really makes you feel like you've discovered something, you've done something, like you're, as, as a player, it's very rewarding to find those secret areas. It just bothers me games that don't think outside of the box and it's just a straight path from beginning to end of the game, you just run through the game. I do appreciate Giuliano's extra step in making this game special. Experienced Viking, I got a uh, Steam achievement for reaching level 10. severe weather happening this evening. Earlier I thought I may lose the stream because of it, but I think we're rock solid. Let's... There was ladders going up, wasn't there? It seemed like there was a choice to go up. Yeah. Not for me. I have to have the mint ruin. Rune. Rune. The great Viking Lord Rune. Let's go up before we go down, shall we? Oh, I can't. I need the Rune. So, with the Viking Lord theme here, I mean... There's a goblin, warthog... Coins, Christmas trees, snow... I'm looking forward to seeing maybe some more Viking helmets, uh, like Nordish Viking ships, some more lore, like the, those those large cabins that they, the lodge that they would build. Hopefully you put some more Viking lore stuff into this, like this A-frame, it's probably uh, atypical for that era, Viking. And I love saving coins, upgrading my maximum HP and uh, magic points, MP and HP up at the stores. And I guess in easy mode, I was gonna say, you know, maybe the stores could just 
they have the option to give you one free HP and MP point, but maybe the stores would just refill your health. But honestly, this easy mode that I'm playing on is nice and easy. It's there's no reason that anybody couldn't just play through and enjoy the story here. thumbnail right there. So can I choose what rune I use? Oh, that's right. The, um... Left button switches, or I think it's probably oh no control shoots. Man, look at all that magic vials. So this secret room here in the middle, right up there, like, I don't see any doorway going into that middle room. What's up with that? I got a bomb in or something? Could be. Cheers. Down I go. Oh, fish. I was gonna say, you should, you should make the uh, right thumbstick be able to look, and he did. Good job. I was trying to see if there's anything down here I'd want to get. Nothing. But... Is there like an achievement for killing a fish being that they're an odd enemy? There is not. Get up there. And I'm gonna go through the secret wall. Nope. Doesn't matter. None of the secrets are uh, that well hidden. They're pretty much just blatantly right out in the open. Like my six-year-old could play this game if she'd actually play pixel art games, which she won't. Which is a shame. Find the switch once again. I see a switch. Wow, 
get rich. I got another achievement. They seen me coming with this game. They said, oh, achievement hunter, huh? Defeat the enemies and I will get more magic points. Sounds like a plan, especially if I'm coming to the level boss soon. Ah, wrong way. I'll go back. And this is all that was hidden in here. You got it. What's up, bird? Tis what it tis, brother. Pigs, there's nothing down there. I, mean, I can't open this. Maybe I must have to go up and get that key and then come down. Ooh, is this like a Mario Brother can go up the waterfall? No. Once again, why well, come down here and kill these pigs? There's some secret I can jump through the wall and see a key. Defeat all the enemies. Does that even mean fish face? Boy, the uh. I'm glitched. I'm glitched. No. Progression. Let's go ahead and save and close and come right back in. See where that puts us. Right back where I was. No harm, no foul. So I don't know if that points to a slate clipping issue. I think that's about the second time I kind of got stuck in the floor. I don't know what the, the animation that got caught in there, but it happened. Yo, yo. See, I played Mario for too long. I'm too close to the ceiling. I gotta jump up here and get up on top of the platform, right? Jump, 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 and get up there. Jump, jump. But if you don't put any of that stuff in the game, the players stop looking for it and they stop trying. So if I know that you didn't put anything up there, I won't even try. Because I know it's not a thing. Lovely, lovely. I will say, your transition between screen, though, 
This is a Viking Lord, like snowy Arctic weather, and the transition between these screens is a bunch of boxes, a bunch of squares. It's a neat transition, but I don't know as it equates necessarily to the theme we got going here. Small thing, food for thought. Got in. What's up? You look familiar. When is he vulnerable? I don't know. He's gonna be dead before I figure it out. Earth rune. So that's the brown I was looking for. Sweet. I am generally having fun, which you can probably tell because I won't shut up about this game, but it is getting late, and I think we've basically showcased what the game is for the last hour. I'm definitely going to come back and finish that this, this game probably over this weekend. Um, yeah, about halfway through it. So it releases on May 5th to the Steam Marketplace. It's probably going to be a while before this can get through certification on Xbox and get out onto consoles. I don't know um, if Light Up puts stuff on, on PlayStation or not, but if not, definitely consider it. I think these games are well fit for the console marketplace, especially at that $4.99 uh, entry point. I think you'll find a lot of success there. Um, appreciate Light Up for giving us a chance to go ahead and uh, showcase this early. May 5th, probably $4.99, maybe $9.99, depending on, you know, he, he put some extra work into this one, but I appreciate you checking me out. We'll catch you next time. On the farm, what's up? <laughs> Where I put the keys to the track. So, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Uh, how about no? Or call a pootie. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Fog.